In general, abstracts summarize and provide an overview of research. Abstracts have a number of distinct parts and they vary in word length. The parts of an abstract may vary between disciplines, but may include context, a short background to the topic, purpose, the main aim of the research, method and methodology, how the topic is examined, findings, a summary of the key results, conclusions, important points about your research, significance, why this work is important. Abstracts for theses and dissertations summarize and provide an overview of a thesis or dissertation. This doctoral thesis abstract has context, which provides a brief background to the topic and indicates why the topic is of interest. The purpose of the thesis is stated. The methods that were used are outlined. The main findings are summarized. Conclusions and significance of the study is stated. Here is a longer doctoral thesis abstract. Notice the context, purpose, the method, and the qualitative methodology. Findings are listed by themes and the conclusions. This master's dissertation abstract is organized around the headings. There is context, purpose, methods, which outlines the sample size, sampling method, test groupings, and the frequency of tests and measures. Findings are summarized, and the conclusions has a proposal for future research. Academic writing tends to focus on what the research is about, but you can position yourself in the writing by using I. However, this often depends on your topic and discipline. Check with your supervisor about the use of I in your writing. For example, this doctoral thesis has four parts. Notice that in this case, it's okay to refer to yourself as the researcher by using I. In summary, abstracts summarize and provide an overview of your research. They have distinct parts. You can refer to yourself in the research, though discuss this with your supervisors. And finally, writing a draft abstract early on can help you to focus your writing.